Hi friends, welcome to part 2 of day 1 to solve UPSC prelims questions 2014. Let's get straight into question 11. Consider the following statements we have to find out which are true. The president shall make rules for the convenient transaction of the business. Yes, this is correct. All executive actions of the government of India shall be expressed to be taken in the name of prime minister. No, it is not prime minister, actually the president. So the answer to this question is A, one only. These are direct questions which are uh, present in Indian polity by Lakshmikan. Question number uh, 12. Which of the following are the discretionary powers given to the governor of the state? Sending a report to the president of India for imposing the president's rule. Yes, this is correct. Appointing the ministers. The governor exhibits no discretion in the appointment of ministers. He chooses, he appoints the persons whom the chief minister chooses. So, this is wrong. Reserving certain bills passed by state legislature for consideration to the President of India. Yes, this is correct. Making the rules to conduct the business. This is not uh, discretionary power of the governor. So, the answer to this question is actually B, 1 and 3. Question number 13. Consider the following statements regarding no confidence motion in India. There is no mention of uh, no confidence motion in the constitution of India. Yes, this is actually correct. A motion of uh, no confidence can be introduced in the Lok Sabha only. Uh, because Rajya Sabha is a permanent house, a motion of no confidence can be introduced only in the Lok Sabha. And this is also true. And hence the answer to this question is actually C, both 1 and 2. Question number 14. Uh, which one of the following is the largest committee of the parliament? Another hot cake question. If you have read Lakshmi Kant religiously, this is a ladder question for you. You can see the maximum number of members is present in the committee on estimates which is 30. So the answer to this question is actually B. Question number 15. Which one of the following schedules of the constitution of India contains provision regarding anti-defection? And this is also a very simple question. The answer is really 10th schedule. Uh, the 52nd Amendment Act of 1985 added the 10th schedule to the constitution. This is also referred to as anti-defection law. So why is this law actually included? Because uh, the MPs, MLAs and were moving from one party to another after uh, winning the election. So to make them stay loyal to their party and to stop this party hopping, anti-defection law was brought into the picture. Question number 16. The power of the Supreme Court of India to decide disputes between the center and the state falls under its. Actually, it is a very easy question. It is C. Original jurisdiction. As federal court, the Supreme Court decides the disputes between the center and one or more states. Question number 17. The power to increase the number of judges in the Supreme Court of India is vested in. The direct fact is it is vested with the parliament. The parliament can do it. And question number 18. Which of the following are associated with planning in India? Finance Commission is not involved in planning. It just is responsible to distribute taxes and grants between center and states. And NDC, yes, this is correct. The planning commission, after preparing its five-year plan, it gives it to NDC. It then uh, approves it and forwards it to parliament for approval. And so, two and five are correct and other people are not involved in planning. The answer is C, two and five. Question number 19. Which of the following are functions of the cabinet secretariat? Preparation of agenda for cabinet meetings. Yes, it is correct. Secretarial assistance to cabinet committees. This is also correct. Allocation of financial resources to the ministries. No, this is wrong. Actually, it is uh, done by the provisions of the budget which is prepared by the finance ministry. The answer to this question is actually C, 1 and 2. Number 20 in the Constitution of India, promotion of international peace and security is included in uh, another direct question from DPSP. Answer is B. Article 51 speaks about how to promote international peace and uh, security. And question number 21 uh, Constitutional government is one which 
places effective restrictions on individual liberty in the interest of state authority. No, this is wrong. Actually, uh, constitutional government doesn't restrict individual liberty. And it places effective restrictions on the authority of the state in the interest of individual liberty. This is correct. The answer to this question is B2 only. The purpose of constitutional government is to define the distribution of powers among the various wings of the government, which are legislature, executive and judiciary. Yes, we have come to the end of today's video. The uh, questions from polity and economy were so simple and direct in 2014. Are you expecting uh, the same kind of A's for in other sections too? You know it? Wait and watch. Let's meet tomorrow. Have a nice day. Thank you.